okay, so what happens if we have something beyond um, just one criteria? What if we want active accounts uh, specifically for Niagara College because we are trying to run sort of, sort of a campaign um, for Niagara College students? Well, let's see how we would do that. What I'll do is I'll grab the same query we just had. So you can see we've got all that. But you can see they don't all go to the same school, but we've got a few Niagara College students among them. We only want to output the Niagara College students. So we've got one, two, three, and four of them should output if we do this correctly. All we have to do here is um, glue together various criteria in our WHERE clause, A and D, with logical operators. We can use AND, we can use OR, all right? But there's a difference between AND and OR. So let's look at ACT school. This is the correct way to do this question. Oh, oops, we're ACT school. We have to remember to put in our full criteria here, Niagara College, all right? So now we've got those four right there. But if I had said where account active is equal to one or act school equals Niagara College, I would get the active accounts for all schools and I would get the Niagara College students whether they were active or not, right? Because what it does is it goes on a record by record basis rather than checking your whole data and then filtering it all afterwards and whatever. So it's not people who are that or that, or that, or that. it goes on this one row and it says, okay, Let's look to see if it's active. Yes, it's active. Um, so it's good because it's an OR, it, it'll just output that record. Now over here it says, okay, check if it's active and so on. But what happens when it gets to something that's inactive, right? It goes to, it gets to the zero, it says, okay, it's not active, but I'm allowed to put this out if something else is true because it can be either active or something else. Okay, is the school Niagara College? It checks, it says yes, and it outputs it. So you gotta be thinking about what's going on. The way the SQL engine works is it, it does the, your where criteria one record at a time. So if you want it to be both, you have to use and. If you want it to be either, you have to use or. Seems obvious, but you'd be surprised. It's really easy to make that mistake. Sometimes if you're getting too many results and you expect something or vice versa, um, just flip around your and and your or and you might find that you've just, your thought process was thinking about it uh, in chunks rather than in records. And that's perfectly normal. You'll get used to it eventually.